Hi everyone. My name is Dr. Joanne Kurtzberg and I'm a professor of pediatrics and pathology at the Duke University School of Medicine. I've dedicated much of my career to diagnosing, treating, supporting, and conducting research in crab A disease. Over 20 years ago, my team at Duke, with the encouragement of Dr. Bill Crivett from the University of Minnesota, began transplanting babies and children with infantile and juvenile onset crab A disease. Transplantation, meaning hematopoietic stem cell transplantation, is a way to permanently replace the affected patient's bone marrow and immune system with healthy donor cells, which can produce normal Gaussian enzyme. For the past two decades or so, transplant has been utilized in pre-symptomatic newborns or older children with early symptoms of juvenile crab A disease. Transplant extends life by decades and slows progression of crab A disease, but it does not prevent the onset of peripheral neuropathy, which worsens in severity over 5 to 15 years in most children with early infantile crab A disease transplanted as young infants. The transplant procedure is aggressive, long, and life-threatening, but right now it's the best we have. Over the past two decades, I and the many families with children with crab A disease and the medical teams caring for children with crab A disease have learned that this is not enough. We desperately need to build on and improve upon the advances made with transplantation therapy. Implementation of newborn screening and maybe someday preconception screening along with wider use of PGD can help enable healthy pregnancies and those are strategies for the future. However, for affected infants and children, we need additional therapies that both, both prevent progression of and even correct existing damage from active crab A disease now. There are some options on the horizon, like gene therapy and competitive drugs that can facilitate engraftment in the brain. We need FDA to fast track these reviews and while ensuring safety, enable approvals whenever possible. Crab A disease is a rare and devastating disease. Progress has been made in the past two decades, but we still have a very long way to go to find a cure.